Oh, this is you to taste to, it? I can <laughs> smell it. <laughs> so this is to, to, to make them flow? That's right? Yeah. Everybody thinks gators are hunting by smell and all that. Gators hunt by eyesight. They will smell something, but a gator sees something, a deer or a coon swimming, he don't give a ding what that coon or deer smells like. He sees him, he's gonna go eat him. So that's what we're after. Wait. I'm so excited. Let's go get him. What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. This is an alligator video. You're about to watch us harvest a giant alligator. I just got done though, checking out the footage from my last two days of hunting. I like to do that sometimes so I know where to take this video, like how to sort of lay it out for you guys. And now that I've done that, I know which direction I need to go. But before I get started on the hunt, I wanna show you some of the damage that these alligators cause to my boat. That way when you're watching it and you hear those, you sort of have in your mind what's happening. Now this is my Blackjack 224. It's completely covered in sea deck, which has taken a beating over the last two years from alligators. When you roll them in the boat, their scoots is what we call it on their back, cuts into the sea deck. And that's one of the most amazing things about this particular stuff that's on my boat is just how strong it is. In two years, I think I've put probably over 20 gators over 11 foot long in this boat. They've got giant sharp claws and this sea deck has lasted amazingly. Yeah, somehow you're gonna have to get to that one. There you go. Keep going. All right, Dave, reach in there and help her. Keep going. Now grab this leg. Nope, Dave, grab this leg right here she's got. There you go. I'm rolling in. Keep him going. Keep him going. Grab that leg. I got his head. You don't have to worry about this head anymore. Yeah, hold that leg. Yeah, there's a couple little cuts in it, but guess what? That's like scars on your body. They're battle wounds. This was actually from Nick Stanzik's 12-9 last year. Oh. Nick, sit on his head with Brad. Sit on his head with Brad, Nick. Yeah, push down as hard as you can. All right. Oh my god, I got big ears. Oh push down, push down. Push Nick, down, grab, that, Nick. grab that shoulder yeah, he's down. out there. Jackie, pull right here on this leg. This one? This one. Pull. You got that hook by you, Dave. Got a hook. But you left him. Got him. He's ours. <laughs> he's in. Holy cow. Yes. Wet t-shirt contest. <laughs> now let me show you some bite marks on the boat. So that's in the gel coat right there, all down the side of my boat from all these alligators over the years. Look at that, that's all the way into the fiberglass, through my wrap, big bite marks here, right there, all over my boat. Now you might not be able to, unless you've been around a gator, you, you can't really get it in your head on, well, why don't they just bite the boat and rip it apart? Well, a gator's mouth obviously opens like that. So I'm gonna show you an example. Right here is his top jaw. Now this was from the alligator yesterday. Underneath here is from his bottom jaw. Look at that. That's from him coming up like this and going bang, bang. But they can't normally crush the side of the boat because it is so hard. I forget my freaking now right here where the G is on my wrap I actually had a gator bite a hole right through my boat and yeah that's blood from yesterday I haven't cleaned it he bit it right through my boat a hole and underneath here you can't see because of the trailer there's really bad bite marks now I know a bunch of you are saying well why in the world would you use your really nice bay boat for gator hunting I choose to use that boat because it can take so much weight. So I can take three or four or five people hunting and also bring a huge alligator back and still be able to do it with some speed because time's money. All right, so enough of all of that. It's time to start the gator hunt that you came here to watch. First, I wanna introduce Mr. Doc. His name is Jack. He's from Poland and he's, a, he's the type of doctor that delivers babies. 
He's never been on a boat. He's never held a fishing pole. He's never been around alligators, but it's always been his dream to go catch one and eat it. So Doc's a little bit older. He's not very big. He's not incredibly strong, and he's going to go up against a giant alligator with our help. The coolest thing about this video, though, is the bait. The bait I chose to use in this video is a bonita head, and that's an actual type of tuna that lives in the ocean. You got him now. Oh, it's a big bonita. Reel him. Come on. Big old bonita. Here he comes. Reel down. Lift him up to your dad. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Emerald swirly back. Woo! Because a bonita head is really strong, I can make a really good alligator bait out of it. And I do just that. So let's take it back to Okeechobee. Doc's up to bat. We get a big alligator on and we actually lose the first one. He's big enough, I would say. Yeah. He just pulled, my, pulled both hooks. Gosh, dog of mighty. What it is? Dang it, boys, we lost him. Then we set back out and we get a huge alligator on. Now, a bunch of y'all have heard me mention Blackshear, Georgia and Richard Harris. That's him. He put me on my biggest buck ever in Georgia and some awesome turkeys. All right, I got to get the harpoon up. This particular gator has actually ate both of our baits. We watched him swallow them. Now we got to go get him. So what we're doing now is we're going to try to harpoon him first. We've already had a big one on this morning and lost everything we had. So we're going to definitely try to kill this one right now. Gain on him, Richard. Just try to keep him on the Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. He's trying to he want to go to that grass. Yeah, he shouldn't go to that grass though. Put the heat on. Alright, you slow down. What he's gonna do is he's gonna slam on brakes and we're gonna blow right by him. No, we're not, I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna try to pull him up right here. Turn hard right. Now Doc also known as Jack, has never fought anything on a fishing pole, and this gator is giving him a run for his money. <laughs> right now, the gator doesn't know what's going on. He just knows there's a boat chasing him. In Florida, our baits can't have hooks in them, so he doesn't have a hook in him. He just has the bait down his throat. Slow down neutral now. I can't see him out for the sun. Right here. Bump it reverse just a hair. That's good, neutral. Reverse just a hair. Turn the motor that way. Neutral. He's gonna come up for air soon. Put your ride down, Doc. Throw the buoy, throw the buoy. Watch that buoy come out, watch it right there. Put another barrel on him like Jaws. All right, I'm gonna get another harpoon, put one more in him just to make sure. See this pool noodle? This is an awesome way to keep yourself organized. This is a workout. Just like that, and I stick that. All right, hold on. Boom. Look, look, look. Oh, wait. Look at that. Look what he just did, y'all. <laughs> All right, I got me a little ice cream container with my bullets in it and a paper towel. That way, they don't get moisture. Take that off right there. Set the bullet in it. Hold it upside down. Screw it in. Mikey's up front explaining to Mr. Jack what we need to do. So now this thing is on fire and ready to kill. Hit him right there behind that flat spot. Right here? Nope. Right here. See the line. Hard, yeah, hard, right hard. Hit him. Just like that. Is it dead? Right. Mr. Jack. We're going to run after 30 minutes. <laughs>
All right, we're not done showing you footage of that alligator. I just had to take a break real quick because I need to marinate the meat and I want to show you what I'm marinating it in. That pickle juice right there, if you have chicken, pork, anything that you want to marinate and give it an extra cool flavor, do it. That's the alligator meat. The processor that we sold the alligator to also sells meat back to us. I know it sounds weird, but it actually mathematically works out. I didn't need a ton of meat. I only needed one pound because it's me, Jake, Luke, and Kelly, and it's all we need. We're gonna make tacos. And this pickle juice, I'm telling you, if you have any wild game marinated in it, man, it's life changing. So now back to the alligator. I actually had a GoPro mess up. It didn't film normal. It filmed in time lapse and then it slowed back down to normal frames. I'm in the water with the alligator because our first attempt to try to get him in the boat, we couldn't get him in the boat. So we moved into shallower water. I jumped in, I'm bear hugging the alligator. I helped Mikey pull him in. Richard's filming, Doc's laying on the bow cause he's so tired. We get the gator in the boat. We tag him so now he's completely legal and we take him to the processor in Okeechobee. Y'all check out that dinosaur. We just got back to the processing plant where we bring these gators when we harvest them. They've got a big boom where we can lift them up and get some awesome pictures. We're gonna do that, then let him back down and I'm gonna show you how we take the baits out of their throat and we're gonna measure him. Now, I'll never do this with a live alligator, but I'm gonna get my bait back out of his mouth. <coughs> you can reuse it, huh? I guarantee you that Bonita, when he bit that sardine a couple months ago, never thought he'd end up in the belly. <laughs> in the belly of a... <laughs> Why is it in the belly of an alligator. Out. It's time to measure him, but we're not gonna tell you what he measures now. I will film it. And at the end of the video, I'll tell y'all, but right now I want you to all give me your best guess. See, he's got it on its head. Good job, Doc. Like I said, I'm not telling you what it is now. We're gonna go home and cook them. Wade runs this processing plant. We're gonna buy a one pound bag of cube gator meat and go home and cook it for dinner. We'll see y'all there. I'm so interested to hear how long you think that alligator was, because I can tell you we were all shocked on what the actual measurement was. We actually thought he was smaller than he was. So I'm taking the meat out of the pickle juice. It smells good. Oh, I'm telling you, pickle juice is the way to go. Now, their meat is cubed, but since we're eating it in tacos, I want to beat it out with this tenderizer just a little bit more. didn't need it but I want to make sure when I bite my taco it's not so chewy a little bit of garlic salt now I'm gonna break out old-school can cooker original all-purpose I love this stuff flip it and repeat take some all-purpose flour throw it in Give it a shake. You, you want to make sure your grease is 350 to 370 degrees. You should stick your finger in it and test it. Yeah, like Austin Crocker. <laughs> Shout out Austin. No, we don't do it. I'm not. Ooh, I actually didn't realize these pieces were going to be so big once I pounded them out, or I would have made them smaller. Yeah, we can cut it up. Now here's something we're going to do. Jake, I need your hands because they're clean. Grab three of those pickles. Grab three of them. Grab them in. We're throwing it back to the county fair, y'all. I'm interested. I don't think I've ever tried a fried pickle. 
You know what I think we're going to do, too? Jalapeno. Jalapeno on a stick. You know what that's from? Uh-uh. Say what? In the comments below, if y'all know where jalapeno on a stick comes from, let Blue Game know. Meat's been cooking for about four minutes. It's already done. You gotta watch it though. Some of the thicker pieces you might want to leave on. So while you're taking it off, start with the thinnest ones first. Ooh, that's a little gator nugget. Little nugget of love. From hunting so many alligators like I have over my whole life, the smell that they produce when they're alive is not the greatest. So I haven't big, been a big fan of eating them until I found marinating them in that pickle juice. Well, it's kind of like barracuda. People, barracuda smells, but it's one of the best tasting fish. Yeah, so trigger fish smells to me worse than Vanita. And I'll tell you what else will stink, and all you pan fishermen will relate. When you catch a cooler full of crappie and put them on ice, mm. and you open that cooler lid, whoo, that stinks. So these pieces are done. I'm not even going to cook the tortillas this time like I normally do. We're just going to lay down some avocado. Can we talk about how big that avocado seed is? I'm not used to these. What, what made you get this kind? Oh, it was ripe. Only one in the stove that had the right amount of squishiness. I don't even know why I'm making four because the boys ain't going to eat a taco. I'll eat taco. You'll eat a gator taco? Yeah, I did not. Gator taco, gator taco. So funny growing up, you, things that you didn't like when you were a kid, now you like. You couldn't have forced me to eat avocado when I was young, now I love it. I love avocado. Look at that. A little bit of lettuce. I'm doing this in reverse, really. I should be putting the lettuce on last. Yeah, Alright, let's take this other stuff off. The pickles aren't brown like I thought they would. I kind of thought they would too. I bet you they taste good. Let's go ahead and turn the grease off. We'll put one on Luke's, he won't even know it. Crunchy? I heard, I heard that, <laughs> You heard what? You say that word? You didn't hear anything. Yeah. Now, one thing I know I'm going to have to do is take a couple of these bigger ones, cut them in half. Look at that right there. Look at that alligator taco. It's funny because most people that aren't Floridians think about alligator hunting Louisiana style. Well, Louisiana in the show Swamp People that you've probably grown up watching. They put chicken on a hook or something on a hook. We're not allowed to do that. We can throw a snatch hook, but we cannot put a hook in our bait. That's the big difference. There's a trick with our baits. You gotta use a little peg. And when that alligator swallows it, he can't regurgitate it and that's how we bite him. I don't think I've ever thoroughly explained that. And we're gonna put on Kelly and I's mm. couple tacos. Couple tacos. A couple tacos. Couple jalapenos. Yeah. Here, look. There's pickle. <laughs> I'll bet. Luke, can we talk about your sock? Luke, who are you? Luke, who's your patch? And we're going to dab it with a fried pickle. That was a jalapeno a minute ago I gave him, by the way, and he had no idea. <laughs> Uh -huh. 
Is it spicy? Oh, it's it's burning me, so I know it's gonna burn. Oh. So I was planning on using salsa verde, but I don't think that will go as good as some yum sauce. And some of this Japanese barbecue sauce. Oh, this is interesting. You guys, that right there is a taco fit for a king. An alligator taco. Okay, close that. <laughs> <laughs> They're dying over there. What's the matter? <laughs> that is so good. Babe, we're on to something here. I'm so excited for you to try this because have you ever had much alligator meat? Mm, no. But why do you have headphones on? Because I'm having complications editing my video. Take you a big bite. I'm telling you, that tastes as good as anything you would okay, ever put in your mouth. My mouth isn't even that big. Huh? My mouth's not that big. The pickle's where it's at. The pickle's where it's at. It's, it's actually really good, not it's gonna lie. It's bursting with flavor. Like, that might be the best taco I've ever had. I've never fried a pickle. I've never even ate a fried pickle. I thought of this whole recipe in my head. The pickle does it. And I'm not a pickle person. Like. I just recently started kind of getting into pickles. The funny thing That's is, really is good. normally I'm excited to go like finish editing. I'm excited to put this camera down so I can finish that taco. Jake and Luke, come here. Why are y'all still holding your mouth? Come here. Hold on. I'll, I'll just put, I'll just put some of this in yum sauce for you. There's no jalapenos. Here, just try just the meat. There's no jalapenos on there. You hold it. Jake, get you a piece. No, get you this piece right here and try it. Dad, what is that? That's a pickle. Take you a big old bite. How do you like that alligator meat? It kind of tastes like the chicken sandwich from uh. That's exactly what I thought. What is it called? Chick fil A. Hey, I'm glad y'all are here. I'm glad that you choose to watch all my videos and hopefully you're watching Kelly Young's. Her channel is Kelly Young on YouTube as well. This is Jake. That's Luke. For those of y'all that don't know, I've got to finish eating and get back over at my computer and start editing this video because I'm so excited to get it out to you guys. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit my subscribe button. That way when I upload, you get notifications right away. Right now though, like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See, he's got it on its head. That's it.